Welcome to a new video. Today I have the pleasure to present you one of my favorite Amouage perfumes ever. So, so far I have shown you my Interlude 53, I have shown you my Reflection Man, which I'm really crazy about, but today it is the time to present you one of the best of Amouages, one of the classiest perfumes money can buy, and this is Jubilation 25 Men. I know that in today's world, every perfume that has, uh, let's say, some really attractive notes or every smell that is a bit different than the mainstream gets called uh, masterpiece, gets called the best on the market and so on. But guys, the Jubilation 25, it is a perfume which not only comes from such an established house like Amouage, but through the notes, through the expertise of Bertrand du Chafour, which is the perfumer of this scent, you get an experience. And of course, perfumery is very subjective. And what I like, maybe you don't like, or what you like, maybe I don't like, but this doesn't make a perfume good or bad. It's just not for us. This is um, a perfume that has so many notes that the complexity of the perfume only can be appreciated if you have a bit of experience in the niche world, let's say. If you like Aqua di Gio from Armani or if you maybe like Aventus or like some fresh citrusy type of smells and then you smell this smoky, woody perfume, then you might not like it. But if you give it a time, so like you spray it on the hand, go mind your own business, come later to smell it and so on, you might see that actually it is something to consider. Many things have been said about Amouage, many things have been said about the quality of the ingredients, but also many things have been said about the longevity. This, as you can see, is a new bottle with Jubilation 25 written here. It's magnetic. so. The worst you can get in terms of Amouage, the worst, because it has a magnetic cap and it's the new design. So not here on the sprayer, but here the new design. I will spray it now, go a bit through the notes and tell you what is my experience with this beautiful perfume, yes? The first thing that you smell from, from this beautiful creation is the wood. It is this beautiful Laotian wood, I would say, which is not stinky, which is not barnyardy, but is a bit animalic. So I had so far three bottles of Jubilation 25 and this one has the most animalic type of wood. Not annoying, but animalic. So if you like wood in here in the latest Jubilation 25 men bottles, you will feel it. Then blackberry, davana, coriander, the frankincense. In the notes that are uh, summarized on Parfumo or on Amouage, I don't see tobacco, but I smell tobacco in here. Honey, rose, cinnamon, musk, myrrh, poponax. This is a very oriental smell. This is spicy and oriental. And Bertrand du Chafour has created here a real masterpiece from Amouage and also for the perfume world, let's say. I can tell you that I have sold so far two bottles. So I had uh, other two bottles in the past, but I always was thinking, I want to smell like that again. I want that beautiful Jubilation 25 smell again into my collection so that's why i got myself recently a new bottle and i can tell you guys i'm enjoying it so much this is so nice and i don't know how how this happens but this the latest so the latest creation like i said with the new design which has jubilation 25 here is not here and with the magnetic cup this is the most powerful from the bottles i had and this smells very much like high quality wood and you have this beautiful frankincense from Oman from the Dofar region and it's so oriental and it's so classy so if you think about a gentleman who likes I don't know to dress well which likes maybe cigars and maybe some cognac and maybe goes to a gentleman's club 
This is a perfume that I would see for such a man. Not Enigma from Roja, which is like a very much regarded as a gentleman's perfume, but a Jubilation 25, I would see it as this gentleman's perfume. So far, I can tell you that with two or three sprays from this uh, new batch, let's say, um, it lasts very long. It will not project a lot. So I know that there is also a perfume from Fragrance de Bois called New York Intense, which theoretically should be similar to this one. I had both, I smelled both, and I think that if you want a smell that is like Jubilation 25, just go with Jubilation 25, take it, enjoy it, and yeah, don't even consider Fragrance de Bois. In terms of versatility, whenever you would like to wear a perfume, I think you can wear Jubilation 25. This is not a very special perfume like the Amouage Interlude, or like Memoir, or even Overture Man, which has this cognac, boozy cognac smell. This one is very classy, very nice, and because it doesn't project so much, you can wear it in all possible cases, in the office, at client meetings, on a date, when meeting friends, because it will stay close to your bubble, it will be there present for many hours, it will not be offensive for anyone as long as they don't come very close and probably don't like this mix of notes. For me, this was a perfume that I liked from the first moment. So I have smelled it, liked it and got a bottle. I also heard people who don't really like Jubilation 25 men. Yeah, I don't think this is a perfume that grows on you. If you don't like it, you don't like it. And if you like it, then obviously you like it. There is also a Jubilation 25 woman which smells like Diaghilev from Roja or like Mitsuko from Guerlain and that is a wonderful perfume. I don't have that one yet but I think I will get that one even if it's advertised for women. It's uh, unisex in my opinion and it's a very beautiful sheep that one. Uh, regarding Jubilation 25 it's very versatile can be worn all the time in all seasons Mainly in the colder days it will perform well, but I don't think you cannot pull it off also in warmer days. It can be worn by men and women. If you like these strong manly perfumes as a woman, you can also wear this one. What I noticed recently is that Atman Xamano de Parfum from Lorenzo Villoresi smells similar to the Jubilation 25 men as if it's on steroids. So if you think the performance for the Jubilation is not very good for you, you can surely try that Monk Saman from Lorenzo Villoresi. It will have the same depth, the same beautiful oriental dark notes like in this one, but it will uh, project more and it will last longer. I am happy to have them both, I enjoy them both, but that it was just like a side note. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video about the Jubilation 25. Please comment down below what is your experience with um, the Amouage Jubilation 25 and if you know it or if you would like to try it. Stay healthy and I hope to see you soon on the channel again. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.